Hi everyone, my name is Ali Graymond and on this channel we discuss OCD recovery. So today I wanted to talk to you about understanding OCD patterns, why it's important and how it can help you in recovery. So, I mean, I have a lot of experience on helping people recover from OCD. It's pretty much what I do all day long now. And I can tell you that no matter what kind of thoughts the person has, whether it's religious OCD, harm OCD, um, any kind of OCD, cleaning OCD, it's the patterns of how the person is viewing these thoughts, how the person is reacting is pretty much the same for everybody. OCD really does work on pattern. And if you start to recognize the patterns within your situation, it takes the fear out of the, uh, out of the OCD. And as it takes the fear out, you can better refuse these thoughts and get into the reassure, uh, get, refuse reassurance. Because the more you reassure yourself and the more you try to solve the thoughts, the worse it gets. If, you, if, if this is the first video you're watching and you have no idea what I'm talking about, um, watch some of my other videos um, in order to get up to speed with all of this and proper methods of recovery. But today I wanted to discuss specifically um, the patterns of OCD. So we're not going to get into that other stuff. When you have an OCD thought, what you want to do is always to seek reassurance, no matter what kind of thought it has, no matter what it is. But at the same time, you know what your themes are. So what is the primary stuff that you're always worried about? Are you always worried about um, something to do with uh, your religion or something to do with harming somebody or something to do with um, something like a false memory thought? right? You know those patterns. So if the OCD thought gives you anxiety, is a what if thought, um, is about your usual theme, is making you anxious, is trying to get you to solve the situation, to try to figure it out, to try to get as much information to figure it out. If you feel the urge to ask other people or look online, all of these are patterns of how OCD works for everybody across the board. So recognizing that this in itself is reassurance to you that this is an OCD thought that okay this follows you know it's like if it looks like OCD it sounds like OCD and smells like OCD it's OCD right and this is kind of how you can tell with these patterns that are always repeating so say if you have driving OCD right and you think okay I was driving to work I think I hit somebody I went to check you know then and now I have anxiety then the next day Okay, I was driving to work. I think I hit somebody else. You know, after, say, days and days of this, like how many people are you hitting on your right to work? <laughs> you know what I mean? So learning those patterns and that it feels severe every single time when you have OCD. It can't be possibly true, you know, every single time, right? So that means it's never true because it would have to be true every time because you're getting the same level of anxiety, right? Or just about the same level. Some, some are more mild and some are more severe, depending on your how you react. So that's not always the pattern. But you're getting anxiety. You're still taking it seriously every time. Um, sometimes it lasts longer, sometimes shorter. But you're taking it seriously every time. That means it would, if it's true now, it would have to be true every time you took the thought seriously, which would be impossible just by nature of life, right? And you, you can do this, that you can say, okay, what are my patterns, my specific patterns that I follow every time when OCD hits, right? What What is the theme? How do I usually react? How it continues? How I get over it? You know, like the, the specific thought, you know, how, how do I uh, switch from one thought to another? If that's, some people switch from one thought to another and some people just have the same thought that just continues over time. Um, so what is your specific pattern? And if you're new um, obsession follows the same pattern, then just viewing it as part of OCD. It's like, you know, if somebody's asking, um, I have runny nose, oh my god, what does this mean? Oh, it means you have a cold or the flu, you know? And same thing with this. Well, if you're having anxiety, if it's your usual theme, if it's, you know, if you feel like you need to seek reassurance, if all of these things are happening, then you have OCD, you know? It's, it's not rocket science. You don't need somebody to diagnose you. You don't need anything special. You just need to refuse reassurance and you will recover.
So I hope you find this helpful. If you have any questions, please let me know below the video or uh, you can message me um, to info at youhaveocd.com. Please visit youhaveocd.com. There's a lot more information on OCD recovery. There's a private one-on-one -on -one recovery program with me. There's ebooks. There's a lot of articles. There's a lot of information on recovery. So please check that out. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, please subscribe and I'll see you in the new video.